the next thing we're going to do is use these two icons here so it says in the exam paper that there's a Facebook icon and a Twitter icon that they want us to use on the uh, template as well uh, which means this is going to be accessible from every single page and not only are these uh, icons going to be there uh, they also need to be a link to these exact addresses so the Facebook one will go to this one here and the Twitter one will go to this one here. Now, I know in the day of the exam when you're sitting this uh, exam you won't have any internet access but that doesn't matter uh, the main thing is as long as you have the actual link itself there and it works okay so whether these are actual Twitter Facebook pages or not is completely irrelevant it says Facebook uh, and the Twitter icons are found in the images folder and that's it. So it doesn't say how they want you to put it on or where it should be, whether it's at the bottom, the side, the top, doesn't really matter. That's completely up to you. So you have some creative uh, freedom there. So what I'm going to do is, if you look at the pictures, and I always look at them just to get an idea, you can see uh, they're both blue, uh, obviously, because of the uh, the company's uh, image is as such. It's got a white background to them. They've got a similar kind of shape as well. So what I'm going to do is, looking at my... Um, website here my template I'm going to put them here at the bottom so what would be good is to create a box and put those images in the box and then save it as an image and throw it in there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to uh, Photoshop and do the same thing first things first I need to get the uh, dimensions now we know that the website can't can't go any uh, wider than the 1366, there it is, 1366 pixels, but I'm going to go a bit less than that. Um, I'm going to go for 1360 for now. If I may, if I need to make it smaller, then I can do. So I'm going to go to here, Photoshop. Uh, I don't need this at the moment. I'm going to go to File and New. Make sure it's in pixels. Make sure that says white, and then this one here says RGB, and this one's going to say 1360. Now the height doesn't need to be that tall, so I'm going to make this, in fact, let's have a quick look, get a, a good idea from here. Um, 50, 60, let's say 70. So, 70. There we go. And we press OK. And that should be fine. So, I'm going to test this, but before I do that, I want to get a similar colour scheme as the buttons... Um, that we have up here and I'm going, to go, I'm going to go for the red one you could go for the blue one if you want to but I think this red one here will have a, a nicer contrast with the color of the blue of the two icons that we have to throw on there so I'm going to use this color here and what you need to do is if you remember the color that we um, was given to us is on this page so you can see the home button is this color here so I'm just going to copy it from here and then go back into here and what would be good is if I just click on this and go here paste the color press enter Ooh. let's put a hashtag in there so make sure I've got the phone numbers five four four five four five so go back here four five four five there we go and enter and that's the color we we want to use a paint bush sorry the pocket uh, bu uh, the paint bucket click inside and now we have the color now all we need is the the icons themselves and we need to obviously go to open file open and find the two icons so facebook is first that's fine get that open and i'm also going to get the the twitter one so hopefully while it loads up a little bit slow okay I may have to pause the video here because it is load it been extremely slow today oh there we go and file and open the Twitter icon as well so that's here somewhere there it is okay so there you go and what I'm going to do is make sure that the white background is deleted. Now, if you can see the checkered design on the background, it means it definitely is uh, not there, which makes it a lot better. If I had to delete that, uh, it would have uh, taken a little bit longer. Not too difficult to do, but in this case, 
uh, we don't have to which means we can save some time here and I'm going to simply just use a black arrow here and drag it into this if it's too big I can make it smaller so you can see it is a little big um, so what I'm going to do is actually make the canvas larger so I'm going to go to image canvas just make it easier pixels and let's go for 90 there you go um, that's still not perfect no so I'm just going to look at the website so make sure that 90 isn't going to be you know if I make it more than 90 it's not going to be pushing too much let's look at the buttons here these are 70 so I think 70 is the right size otherwise it'll be too too large so I'm going to go back here and undo that size difference there we go and it just means we'll have to change the size of this button here so what we're going to do sorry the icon what we're going to do is go to edits and free transform or you can use control and t and it brings up this uh the black outline with these squares and around the side nice little tip hold on shift on your keyboard to keep the proportions the same and drag in from the side if you don't do that what you'll end up happening is if i let go and show you you can stretch it out and that's going to be very very unprofessional doesn't look as nice and therefore uh, not as not as effective now i'm going to put it over here for now and press enter to see what it looks like still a little bit large so i'm going to undo control and t shift and drag it in a little bit more push in you can use your arrow keys to go up and down and fine tune it in fact i'm going to control and plus to zoom in there you go that makes it a lot better and all we got to do is move it over to the side so i'm going to go over here control and minus get it to the end now it doesn't really matter which order you do it in so whether you get facebook in first or twitter it makes no difference whatsoever just do what you're comfortable with so i'm going to put this in get nice clean spacing around the sides it's known as white space even though it's not actually white and get it in so that's the first one done i'm going to get twist it in now so drag it in similarly to facebook there we go control and t hold and shift drag it in i'm going to push it up i'm going to put it on top of the facebook one hold and shift and make it identical so you can see that's right on top of each other now and then using the arrow key I'm going to use the left arrow key to just budget to the left. I'm not using my mouse now. See, my cursor is on this side. I'm using the left arrow key so that I can get it exactly the same height. I want a nice little space around the edges as well. There we go. So a nice margin. Enter when you're ready. There you go. If you zoom out now, control minus, that's how it looks. Okay. Now, we could play around with this because it says that we can actually edit any of the images yeah if we wish to do so um so if you want to leave it like that you can do and just file save and we can keep this save this as a footer or you can make some changes to it so let's try one so this one's a uh, facebook one and i'm going to right click and go to blending options and i believe there was one that's uh let's try drop channel gives it a bit of a 3d look to it but there is um that which makes it look like a button okay so i quite like that so i'm going to choose that and press okay i'm going to do the same thing with the twitter one blending options and click on bevel and emboss press okay and there you go i'm quite happy with that i'm now going to um decide on whether i should make the actual footer flat or button but i think i'm going to keep it flat because it's better to keep these as buttons so i'm going to keep this flat so i'm just going to press um file and save and it's going to be saved as a footer there we go Press save and we also need to save it as an image and if you remember every image needs to be less than 300 kilobytes so we're going to go to file once this uh decides to wake up 
And like I said, it's always a good idea to have this in front of you, but it's only because I remember this. You should always train, you should be training yourself to remember these key bits of information. It's less than 300, so we're looking for 299 or less. There we go, it's done. So to save it as an image, you go to File, and remember we want PNG. Save for Web and Devices. And then we're going to make sure this is PNG. Look at the space, uh, the size here, 4.3 kilobytes, which is perfect. And we're going to click Save. But it's fine, we're in the right folder. You can see the icon there, so I'm pressing save now. And that should throw in my footer in here. There we go, just took a, bit of, took a, bit, a little bit of time. So we now need to put that in. So I'm gonna put this down, go back to Dreamweaver, Go right to the bottom, click here, make sure these horizontal value is left, vertical value is top, insert image, because there's no rollover this time. And we're going to find, we'll go back, go to images, find the footer. There it is, that's okay. And I say no to that, and we're going to just call this footer. Remember, anytime you see the alternate text field, make sure you put something in there. And there it is. Now, you can see that even though that this here is only 1360, it's pushed it out a little bit. So I'm going to drop the size a little bit. So I'm going to make this maybe 1350. Okay. And what might be good is to test this, save, and have a look at it here. Refresh the page. I'm going to zoom in F11 and go down, and you can see it's there at the bottom. Now, at the moment, it doesn't take me anywhere, but the the color scheme is all good, okay, and it does look a lot better. So, next step is obviously make sure that they take you to the correct links. So, very easily, I'm going to take this off and show you what to do. So pretty simply, all we've got to do is use hotspots. So we're going to click on the image, and down here you have uh, the poly uh, polygon tool, and we're going to use this and go around the shape. But it's a good idea to zoom in so you can see it better. There you go. So you can see it doesn't look as blurry now. And in fact, you can even go further than that so you can get it as precise as you can. And it's a simple case of going round the edges until you get to the starting point wherever you started from and you'll type in the address so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the address first so I'm doing the Twitter one first there it is cancel I can copy from here there we go now obviously you will have the digital version you just have to type it in but you'll have the piece of paper in front of you anyway so I'm going to copy that and come back over here and now I'm going to start my Spots. Just going to go around as best as I can. There you go. And then the link here, I just type it in or paste it in, and that's it. Done. Now we're going to do one more for Facebook. Now again, I'm going to come back here and copy the Facebook one, and come back here and start going around. Oop. It. I have to click it again. So make sure you click the button again to start another one. Okay. So I've started this one. I'm going to come around. It will take more time than this. I'm obviously rushing. So make sure you get it as close to the edges as possible. There we go. And then you paste or type in the website here. So you can see Facebook there. Enter. Done. So if I click on the black arrow now, and if I click on this one, you'll see it says Twitter. If I click on this one, you'll see it says Facebook. If I zoom out, so click on this, go back to 100%. This is a normal view. If I save it, so Control and S, come back over here, refresh the page. And here we go. So if you look at my mouse now, it changes, the cursor changes as I go over the two buttons. So I'm quite happy with that now. 
The last thing we're going to do in the next video is formatting these cells here so that we have the right kind of font and design before we use this template to create our, create our pages.